What is up, you guys? And of course, always welcome back to an episode of Who Was Really Better. And this week, we're gonna cover something I really think is interesting, and that is the fossil Pokemon that learns Swift Swim and Rapid Spin and Stealth Rocks. Hell, there are the total package for Rock Type, but have actually different types of um, viability. There actually aren't the um, standard how to use rock type with self rocks no they're actually quite functional with a really broad move pool and other rather strange niches behind them now before going into the pokemon themselves i do want to recognize that none of these pokemon gets leech life reason that bothers me quite a lot actually is because well armalo desperate for another stab move outside of his existor which is fair enough but it would have been given a second layer of a different type of viability and what assault was would have been a very functional idea with it, with that in mind and of course Cabotops being well f infamous for actually being succulent of its preys and suck their uh, their natural fluids to recovery or to eat so I felt that was a missed opportunity and while it wouldn't have changed their viability it still is something like I said I felt was a def definitely a missed opportunity so with that said they have a similar role to the meta and can do similar things but their stats are different and their types are different so we're gonna cover which one of these two that really are better, and we're gonna start off with the Pokemon introduced first being Cabotops. Now, Cabotops typing, rock and water are both good and bad depending on how you view it, because you do get a lot of really broad shadow resistances. We had resistance to fire, resistance to flying, ice, and normal and poison, but we're weak to electric fighting ground, which are all common types, and grass types we're very weak to, which means pretty much, yeah, you dead on arrival if that were to happen. That said, though, um, it's not necessarily that big of a deal as, uh, well, Cabotops is not made for actually soaking hits anyway, it's made for combat, most certainly. The stat region here really, really are pinpointing what it's able to do. Low HP, fair attack, I would say, much like Tartana, really, you know, the bulk is necessarily there, but it's definitely offensive. 115 is attack, 105 is defense, 65 is special attack, yeah, it's not often you're gonna see that use that. Special Defense 70 is alright, and 80 in its speed, which is okay. It's more of what a Wall Breaker speed would want to, but isn't necessarily as strong enough for us, for of course, a Wall Breaker, but it's still around there. Though, the, its potential bulk really is shining here. It's really something that isn't very good at, and 6 in HP is, is a culprit, really. And 105 is actually a good defensive stat, but just it doesn't have the HP to take hits in the longer run. And of course, special attack do knock this Pokemon out really easily. That said, we have three real interesting abilities. One of them, Battle Armor, uh, make sure that you can't get critted, which probably is the lesser of the good here. But then we have Weak Armor, which is any physical move that hits by you will lower your defenses, but boost your speed by two, which is amazing considering the kind of shaky speeds you're here. Uh, and then Swiss Swim, which is what this Pokemon has been famous for since Generation 3, really, but more towards 4 because of the physical split, which, of course, elevates this Pokemon to become really dangerous as it boosts its speed by 2, making you easily a 140 or 50 base speed Pokemon, which is far better. And, of course, you can run adamant with this notion. So it's, it's a really scary Pokemon due to this, of course, representation. That said, as always, Pokemon Smooth Pool is very, very interesting and has to have an access here, whether or not it's viable, so let's cover that. Because Cabotops doesn't necessarily learn that many things. It learns stuff and it gets the viable uh, stab options, but quite frankly, when I was doing this, I realized that for being introduced for the first generation, its Smooth Pool doesn't represent that. Uh, look at the likes of Aqua Jet with a great priority, Aqua Tail, Body Slam, Brick Break, Double Edge, Earth Power, Facade, Frustration, Giga Drain, which actually is, it's an option. Yeah, I wouldn't necessarily recommend Giga Drain, but it is an option for sure, for some matchup, more so towards Pokemon Let's Go, if anything. Then we have Horn Claw, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, Knock Off, Liquidation, Low Kick, Nature Power, Rapid Spin, Reflect, Rock Polish, Rock Slide, Skull, Seismic Toss, Sleep Talk, Stealth Rocks, Stone Edge, Savage Suit, just rambling here, Super Power, Surf, Soul Sense, Toxic, Waterfall, Exista, Confuse Ray, Curse, Cut, and Dig. Um, reason I've mentioned Dig here, and it's going to be irrelevant actually in two weeks anyway, but C Dig is an option for this Pokemon if you want to have Ground Combination. 
but rock and water really is covering quite a lot there really aren't that many things resistant it and a few that do are water types themselves and uh, or i mean water ground types which is absolutely scary here which is why giga drain could be a possible option that said though it gets relevant filler moves um you really can pick and choose this pokemon likes that source has behind it and low kick is usually the better option as it does kind of enforce really hard hits on heavy pokemon which usually tend to be other rock types or other or steel types knockoff also very fair but overall, you know, like the move pool here really is saying itself. It is really good. And of course, Rapid Spin and Stealth Frogs are a rare trait for Pokemon to have. This Pokemon may not be the best at it, but having the option to pull that off could be very, very good in a Lee environment where you maybe not want to go Swiss Swim every time. This Pokemon may be not be the most suited for a defensive role, but I'm forced to. It still has a really key resistance to pull that off. And of course, with priority and a fair enough move pull it really can pinpoint match up and come out on top really through it though its strongest set is of course adamant sword stance set together with swiss swim where after one sword stance it's very unlikely anything takes anything from this pokemon as its attack while not the most impressive after sword stance it just is overboard with the speed tier really and enforcing you to of course go first no matter what there really are very few issues this pokemon are facing which is why uh, Cabotop is one of the greatest Pokemon introduced during Rain. It's just as viable, I would say, as Kingdra, but in its own right, it's still a very dangerous Pokemon due to the weak armor aspect and to, due to actually a broad move pool to be able to pinpoint and match up quite well. The most famous set right now in PU is this Choice Cuff set, and for very good reasons. It hurts. The stab combination are so good and are so hard to switch into that it's just tremendous. And then we have, of course, the Swole Stance variant with weak armor, which might as well be just as viable as Swiss Swim set, if done right. So with all set cover, Cabotops, great Pokemon overall, really glad to get to cover it. But how does it compare to Armaldo? So Armaldo. Well, it shares a lot of traits with Cabotops, for sure. And what it doesn't share is its type combination, Rock Bug. It is not the worst typing, but it's definitely far from the best. They're really going to have that cover because Armalda has a lot of good traits. Its typing isn't that, as you resist the likes of normal poison, which you do naturally with um, actually in a rock type. Bike type doesn't keep any resistance left. You do, however, keep your weakness in rock type, but then the weaknesses to seal and water from rock are still there. Uh, however, I guess you'd say this as is. Rock do alleviate a few problems with bug, and bug do alleviate the ground issue to um to rock tires but just as their own right really aren't ele elevating anything and it's i would say it's an issue however its distribution is quite fair as it's absolutely more bulkier and more suited for more defensive role than cabotops 75 hp 125 in attack which is great uh 100 in its defense which is all right uh, 70 special attack that's usable ish Special defense is 80 and 45 in its speed. Yeah, it's a slow one, but it's absolutely bulky and even more so it hits hard It's definitely more of a tank Pokemon and can you know soak or retaliate quite well while the combination as I said here rock Rock and bug really aren't suiting it that much It still is an aspect to keep this in mind as it's definitely able to soak hits Combination here of his abilities in battle armor and Swiss swim much like um, Cabotops um, it can use Bell Armor Quarite, right? and Sweat Swim is actually a viable option, mainly because it's still double the speed of 45 base is still 120 speed, and, and that could be just about enough. That is, if you go Jolly, if you go Radamant, you have added 105, which means Pokemon like Latios, um, top of my head really, and of course the Cobalion and Dragon will outspeed you, so you're forced to go Jolly if you want to go offensive. But as it's alright, 125 is still plenty of power behind it, so it could work, it's not the worst thing ever. Um, however, Armaldo's biggest strength is actually its move pool because it gets a lot of moves. It actually is surprising how many moves this Pokemon get. Like, top of my head here, I, I, I ramble through them, but I try to explain why they are good anyway. But yeah, we have Aqua Disc, we still have priority for slow Pokemon, which is awesome. Aqua Tail, Body Slam, Brick Break, Double Edge, uh, Power, Earthquake, Facade, Flash Cannon, Home Claw, Knock Off, Liquidation, Low Kick, Protect, Rapid Spin. Rest Return, Rock Flash, Rock Polish, Rock Slide, Stealth Rock, Stone Edge, Substitute, Super Power, Soul Sands, Toxic, Exisa, Air Lace, 
Asian power attract block Brian brutal swing brutal moves was so close that a brutal swing of course bug bite bulldoze captive confined cross poison crush claw curse screech secret power slash smackdown and stomping tantrum there's a lot of things to kind of talk about here however I'm just gonna say that it is it gets the same moves at Kabutops and then some and, and that should be go without saying that this is absolutely the main Mercer using Armaldo it's much more suitable for more matchups and it could be able to do just about right um, the main issue is of course it's not sweeper capability when of course being down at low speed which means if you're using the rain you gotta use soul stats you gotta go jolly and that's always gonna be an issue however you get its stab combination is all right though usually or you should probably avoid the bug moves and you should knock up instead over Exes or like I said in the start of the video, not gonna link dive. I do believe complicates their layers. And since our model of being a bug type really doesn't get that many bug moves, bug bite and exes are just about it. They are absolutely inferior, <laughs> of course, moves for a bug type combination. However, it gets stone edge, it gets earthquake, it gets liquidation, and of course, like I said, low kick knockout. It's it, it's plenty. It's an incredible Pokemon that is just that close to actually being quite viable. And it could very well be that it just doesn't necessarily get the right moves. Uh, it gets stopped in Sandra, which I think is awesome, as that could actually make you lose something like um, Low Kick, uh, and then the Ghost Side comes in, come out for a stop in Tantrum and use that. Though Earthquake is, of course, more safer. Overall, however, um, one of the main merits of Armaldo is that it can use Stealth Rocks and can Rapid Spin more reliable than Cabotops ever could, ever. And I think that's a massive merit for him, although while it is weak to rock, so it doesn't become the, you know, the, the most natural spinner, being able to pull that off is still a main more merit than Cabotops can ever do. However, like I said in the Swiss Swim, it's very clear that Cabotops is better, but it also depends on the matchup. Armaldo has its merits, and that has to shine through here, as it's much, much more resilient to take hits and are really, really, in theory, stronger in Cabotops and could potentially, in course, rain, be just as viable if they are even given an opportunity. However, defensively, Armaldo shines a lot stronger than Cabotops, and that's what my takedown from Armaldo. So what this matchup for me really boils down to is which Pokemon do you think you will get your best use out of? As stated, Cabotops, hands down, best with Squimmer between these two, as it could be due to its stab combination of water and rock, really are a lot better than Armaldo's combination, maybe. It's that simple. However, defensively, Armaldo is a better self rocker, it's a better spinner, and in the theory, you could take hits a lot better. In, in the long run, Armaldo really represents a big strength with that. But when we talk about the Pokemon individually, and of course, even we take away the rain, which Pokemon of these two really are the better ones? Well, <laughs> I think it goes without saying, I think that's the reason. At least Kabutops has a tier where Armaldo thing goes untiered in the Yen Semis meta. Armaldo just isn't enough. Um, it's good, it has viability, but Kabutops is shining in so many environments. It's individually strong without rain, it's a fantastic wall breaker and potentially sweeper. Armaldo can pull those rolls off, but it needs the support to pull them off, and even if that, it's in theory it's slow enough. That it might not actually matter. So Kabutops win this matchup because it's more reliable and just overall stronger due to the sab combination allow it to be that much better. And any base speed for an, a potential sweeper now in rain, yeah, it just has to be that, isn't it? And of course, as stated before, to the Swift Swim, you get the boost in your water stabs even further. So it just the damage output is ridiculous. Normaldo can never come close to that. Defensively, it's in theory better than Kabutops, but in the end of the day. You much better use anything but Armaldo as for a defensive role in the first place, and that goes really without saying. So, Kevin Ups, absolutely the winner here. Uh, so, with that said, guys, what do you guys think of these two Pokemon? You got an experience with them, and uh, you won't see a team preview for the next battle or next week's Pokemon because I've yet to make up my mind which two are going to compare from a 100 episode. So, with that said, thanks all for watching, and join us next week for, well, God knows what. <laughs> Until then, take care. Bye.